As Yvonne Kew, the sun emerged as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived in the heart of Birmingham. They'd come to Summerfield Community Centre in Winston Green to hear firsthand the stories of those affected by the devastating riots in this area just over a week ago. Were you involved in that last week as well? They were told about the type of work that we were doing, the planning that went into, into trying to bring uh, calm to the streets. And they were just, you know, very moved by the level of commitment and sacrifice by the secu uh, emergency services and by those of us in the community who were prepared to work with the police, etc., to try and, you know, restore order to the streets. Central to the visit was a private 20-minute meeting with the families of the three men who died just a short distance from here. Allahu Akbar. The open-air funerals of Haroon Jahan, Shazad Ali and Abdul Musavir took place in the city yesterday. 20,000 people turned up to pay their respects. The carpet of flowers where they died trying to protect property is spreading along Dudley Road. Were they there? The royal couple questioned emergency service workers who were caught up in the trouble. I think it's made such a difference to Birmingham after you know, what's been a very traumatic week. It's just great to end uh, in the sunshine as we are and, and with the royal couple here and a real buzz for everyone that's involved. Word spread quickly and a crowd was there to meet them at the next stop, a shop and cafe in the city centre which was looted during the riots. I think it's fantastic that they take the time out to come and see the people of Birmingham and just show their support. Sometimes it does take bad things to happen for good things to happen, so it was really nice for them to be here. And customers were taken by surprise. What are you going to tell your mummy when she comes home from Birmingham? My bubble, she won't believe us. <laughs> the royal couple spent just a few hours in Birmingham, but the people I've spoken to are convinced the impact of this visit will last for much longer. People felt really appreciative that they'd come here. They're very engaged. They really wanted to talk to ordinary Brummies who'd been caught up in the rioting. How confident are you that a lid has now been put on any sort of potential community unrest that might still exist? Um, I am confident because of the, uh, the strength and the maturity and the responsibility shown by all sections of the community, particularly here in Win Winston Green, where they've taken their lead from the families of the victims. Um, and I'm confident that's going to hold. So once again, the second city was the focus of huge media attention. But this time, the pictures were positive. Kath Mackey, BBC Millers Today, Birmingham.